So we've started walking for 10 seconds and Will's already making a stop for coffee. coffee. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem here. Someone is starting their menstrual cycle right now. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't. False alarm. To leave the only good thing I decided meant to be. Welcome to day one of our community adventure. Today, well, like hour one. Hour one. Uh, <laughs> on first and we stopped minutes. for coffee, croissants, to change our coat several times, and I think now we're going to stop to put on our ponchos, right? Kind of. It's it's a little misting, which is turning to a little bit of a drizzle, and with all this gear, we got to be extra careful because we want it to last at the end. We had the experience of getting wet on the Inca Trail and waiting too long before we put on our gear, and we were miserable. So. Yep. Today's journey will take us from San Gian Pied de Port, which seems like it was a mile ago, which is actually only about 500 feet away, <laughs> um, up to Refuge... Orison. Orison. Which apparently is eight kilometers. I think we can do it. They said right. three hours. We're starting light. We're, we're, we're in this to finish it, so we're, we're not going to care if we only go, f what, five miles today. Yeah. It's day gonna, one. Day one. It's day one. Let's go. Always looking for a new day. Avalon, how's the community treating you so far? Mm. Really? Mm. That bad? Mm. So tell me in your honest words, why are you doing the Camino? Because you made me do it. That is one very strong reason to do it. Mm -hmm. I would do this too if my parents told me to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be grateful 30 years later saying, oh my gosh, that's the best gift you ever gave me. 30 years later when I'm 43. Yep. Just like that. I've got a while to wait until I'm grateful for this. Well, you know, it's it's... This is one of those gifts that sort of, it's nice leading up to. Mm-hmm. Like the Machu Picchu Trail, yeah. where I got sick. I think you're gonna like that one about 10 years from now. Oh, I'm gonna wish. It, it, I was it ferments like right fine now. wine, Avalon. Uh-huh. So it's raining pretty hard right now, and we've got to um, get ponchos on. It's only day one. The problem with the ponchos is this, is that it actually gets really warm underneath these things. And um, I guess, you know, we talked about how, you know, we're taking it light on the first day. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad we're doing that right now. I never thought I'd be dressing in you this early on in our relationship. I love you. <laughs> So this is it. This is how we're changing in the middle of the Camino, in the middle of the rain. Um, the only concern right now we have is this camera, making sure it doesn't sort of get all messed oh, up. Oh, don't worry, but well, I'm okay, I got it. You're You'll dry, okay. Lorda, what's your favorite part about the Camino so far? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> all right, let's roll. Doing okay? Yeah. What are you thinking about at this exact moment? Nothing much. Yeah? You think that you've got another 779 kilometers left inside of you? I don't like that grin. There is all uphill on this first day, and there is no mercy at all on this. It's all paved though, which is quite nice. The one thing that we have noticed is this. Besides my panting and being unseasonably not prepared for this, is that there's, hold on. All right, 
That's a little bit better. Rain does not help these things. Now it's all paved, which is fantastic because I have a feeling that once it gets not paved, that's where the real torture begins. But there's also bikes on here. And the bikes are doing the entire Camino. Now I have a feeling that once we're done crossing the Pyrenees, they're gonna be laughing at us all the way. But today, I don't think anyone's laughing, especially at the bikers. <sighs> how's, how's it going for, for you? It's hard to get a breath here. I need a moment. Oh, boy, I'm out of shape. Yeah, well, you look very magnificent with that cloud in the background. It's like, it's like you're almost... Oh, wow. I do look good against the cloud, don't I? Oh, this is beautiful. This is, this is the hardest part of the trail, we've been told. I've read in the books. It's hard. Um, I'm glad we're getting the hard part done in the beginning. It's beautiful. It's not raining. Yesterday, I thought I was going to buy a winter coat. I'm so glad I didn't. I don't even really need this. Um, I know we've just begun, but it's great. And, and you've already made a friend. I made a friend. Well, we all made a friend. Actually, Will made the friend first. Cool guy. Oh, this is slippery. His name is Malibu. Cool name. And he's a student. And he's doing this because um, he's been working and going to school long hours for years now. So he kind of needs a mental and technology break as well as for religious reasons. I'm really excited to meet the different people on the trail. The kids are talking this guy's ear off. He's probably gonna be so happy that at Refuge Orison he continues on and we stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he seems, he's really good with the kids. They're having a whole Star Wars conversation right now. Oh my gosh, I'm going through, you can't see this guys, but this is really muddy here. Wow, oh my gosh. I gotta wear these pants for the next three days. You're doing great. Let's go up. All the way up. So, so you're bike riding the entire Camino. Yes. And is it gonna be a lot easier than after today? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. What is what is the? Uh, this is our first time, so. <laughs> how hard is it? In the uh, beginning? Uh, what we have heard, this is the worst part for biking. Uh, the entire way only uphill and really tough and then it should be more flat with some ups and downs but not like today how many days do you plan on, on 15 doing? 15 yes okay are you a typical biker like you bike all the time yes oh my gosh i can't believe it are you guys together yes. no they just <laughs> met <laughs> i love on bikes 30 miles. Oh my gosh. That's Each training. <laughs> wow. And you're ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> this wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have such heavy packs. I mean, I really don't think We'd so. We'd be running it if we didn't have such heavy packs. Yeah. Really. yeah. That's how yeah. we roll. We have all of our equipment with us and our computers and stuff because ah. we have to work while we're doing this. So I think that's what's killing us, the packs. Someone made fun of his bag calling it the kitchen sink and now he's determined to not ever ship it forward. <laughs> I love she, my bag. She meant it very kind and loving, you know. That's okay. It's, it's a challenge now. <laughs> uh, we shipped our bag. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's yeah. a very good idea, yeah. Uh -huh. Buen camino. Right out of the bat, I knew I loved you. You had that sparkle in your eyes. Some kind of shimmer in your presence. So we're stopping at Refuge Horizon. So we, we're yeah. Really and then is tomorrow really hard? Ugly. Long. Really. <laughs> First two days, ugly. Most okay. people do the two days in one day. Yeah, we decided against that. Yeah. yeah. I did it once. 
uh, in 2006, as I've got older, I've only done. Well, Mum's 72, so, so wow. I, she's pretty so, damn good. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I'm so now impressed. I do it. In, now I do it in the two goes. But we did have I a mudslide. So, but that. Oh was, my gosh! Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I slip every little. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's funny coming up. I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna fall face first in this because I'm so oh. clumsy, and then I'm gonna get to the refuge, and they're gonna have to hose me down. Yeah, I said that to her. Oh, oh you like we an get animal, there. right? Yeah. 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 Shh, shh. yeah. Everybody has. There, there's two big mountains where it's shale rock down. Everybody has a slide. They don't get really dirty except if it's raining. Uh, and course, yeah. yeah, and that's when it, it is. Raining, like, it's yesterday. been raining, yeah, exactly, raining. and the day before. But I, you know, I think, well, this is all different, you know. And this is more fun, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> I love it. And look at the story she has to tell now. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely love it. The future had in store. Love is a flicker in the distance. So this, I'm telling you. Walking with Avalon Largo is a lot of fun because they talk constantly. So when you're going up this hard part, you're like, oh, they're entertainment. So they've made a friend up there and they've entertained her for the last half an hour walking uphill, telling her the story of the fire. I think she, they're up to the part of the fire in the camping car, right? Yeah, they've already they got there. They started with their childhood. Machu Picchu, what else have they covered? They have a hike. I couldn't walk, I was so sick. So then they hired a porter to carry me. Oh, bless. And Did you get a donkey as well? No, just a porter. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> So we made it to day one. Largo, no more stories. That's it. <laughs> yeah, save some for tomorrow. Oh, We've got yeah. a long adventure. But how long did that take us? What time did we start? Does anyone know? It's been three hours. That's nothing. Could you have done another five? Hello, young girl. Okay. And we have a reservation. Wow, nice room. Somebody left a book. Somebody left two a book. Somebody left two books and one's in Japanese. That's Chinese awesome. Chinese maybe. Chinese could be. That's really I cool. call this bed. All right, so this is our room right here. Um, It's nice. It's really nice. We have our own shower. I, I did not expect this in the Camino. Oh. And Lago has his own bed except for that's probably mom and my bed. Okay. now about four hours after our hike we have this amazing room and everyone's been enjoying it as much as possible i think this is the most sleep that everyone's gotten since we've moved into the rv without an interruption it's so quiet here so i just woke up from a nap not a planned nap but i was so tired i realized we're not gonna be able to get a nap like this every day we hiked half the amount we're gonna typically hike today and we got a late start but i hopefully we'll find our groove we were woken last night around 4 a.m. because the cook started cooking breakfast and it was right next to our room and the, the owner was speaking really loud in French and we all woke up. But I think that's going to be pretty typical on the trail because I think we're going to be sleeping with other people a while and we're going to have people snoring and whatnot. But I guess if we get tired enough, we'll just sleep through anything because right now we're all out from four hours of sleeping. Except for Will because he had 15 you cups of coffee. My soul like a phantom and you did it right from the start like nobody is all right let's recap our first day first why are we doing this largo physical physical yeah, yeah. you do you need some physical exertion or yeah i, I want to earn a six pack you want to get a six pack oh i think maybe that's why i'm doing it too <laughs> So I'm doing it because I want to spend more time with the kids and get out in nature and have less technology as I'm speaking to a camera um, and just have all the stresses of normal life removed and we can just hike and talk and connect. I'm also doing it because I want them to be able to know what their bodies are capable of and test their endurance and I don't think they know how strong they are right now and I think this is going to prove it. What do you think? I think I know how strong I am. You are? And maybe along the way I'll be enlightened. That would be great. I mean, it was good. What else can I say about it? Did it wear you out at all? No. No, because as soon as you got in that room, you, your sister, and myself, we conked out. What's gonna happen tomorrow when we do double? Are we gonna have to stop part way and the three of us take a nap? Ha, ha. And there's gonna be no coffee for daddy on the, on the way, so he's gonna need a nap too. There'll be morning coffee, don't you worry. Have enough five cups like today. So I think we're in good shape for our first day. The kids are in great spirits. No Avalon, blisters. 
No, Avalon wasn't 100% into doing this. And funny, if you ask her right now, she'll say, it's okay. Yeah. But she was smiling and talking and laughing. And just, that's like so the biggest free. endorsement at this point that we can ever ask for. It's saying, it's okay. It's okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Largo loved it. He loves being out in nature. And now yep. it's raining, so we're going inside. All right, we're going inside. So this may recap our evening because we're going to go to dinner and we got to hike So are we asking them tomorrow. to subscribe now? Um, sure. Can let's, you do let's, that? Let's close it out right now, just okay. in case we, don't, we get totally exhausted after dinner. Guys, subscribe. Share with your friends. Tell them about our adventure. We're going to be vlogging as much as we can on this right. trail. We don't know if we're going daily, but um, so far we're two for two. We're two for two. Yeah. <laughs> so glad we didn't. I'm so vlogging. glad we didn't go any further. We all took showers and needed them, and the kids and I didn't think we were going to take a nap, but we conked out. I think this is a great way to start it. There's a meal that we're going to go to now, and I heard there's something really cool that happens. Yeah, like a free glass of wine. Is that what it is? Well, it's part of our meal too. <laughs>